virtual lab for ESTM distillation developed by a group of IIT Guwahati faculties and students for the from the Department of Chemical Engineering. The first step is to log on to vlab.co.in. The second step is to click the link IIT Guwahati on the extreme left. The third step is to click the link virtual lab for mass transfer. The fourth step is to click the link for ASTM distillation which takes us directly to the online portal. On the online portal, the first tab is the theory tab which gives us a general overview behind the experiment along with the working principle of it. The second tab is the procedure tab which gives us a detailed explanation of the experimental procedure along with the apparatus used. It further gives a schematic of the experimental setup along with the animation for the same. The third tab is the experimental calculation tab. The data obtained from experimental for initial boiling point for a particular volume percent distilled has been shown in the table. Further plot of volume percent distilled and temperature has been plotted as shown in the graph. Depending on which the final boiling point volume distilled residue left and evaporated has been evaluated. Discuss discussions concerned about the experiments have been detailedly discussed along with applicable literature for the same. Further, the ASTM TBP correlation data and the endpoint correlation data charts have been presented in experimental calculation part 2. In the experimental calculation part 2, the charts for ASTM TBP correlation data obtained from Edmister's method and the endpoint correlation data has been shown. Experimental calculation part 1 has been done from data obtained from these charts. Next comes the lab calculation part. In the lab calculation part, we have snapshots of the virtual experiment. The first, the first step is to get the virtual data for volume distilled. In the next step, the user will get to see all his entered volume percent distilled and the virtual ESTM data. In further next step, the user will get corrected data for the prescribed percent evaporated and ESTM temperature. As we go ahead, the calculated TBP based on the virtual data obtained from step 3. The next step gives us a virtual data for TBP. In the next step, the virtual data for cut endpoint will be displayed. Finally, the actual cut of the sample will be displayed. The last step is basically a comparison step between the user's calculated TBP data and the virtual TBP data. The next tab is the pre-experimental quiz tab. Here the user has few questions related to the experiment. All the user has to do is select the right choice and submit. As he presses submit, the software itself will let him know whether his answer was correct or not. The next tab is the downloads tab. In the download tab, the user has to download the runtime engine for the simulator to run. Next is the simulator tab. Here we have two links. One is to perform the experiment online and the second is to download the exe file and then perform it offline. The next is the post experimental quiz. Similar to pre experimental quiz, the user has to make his choices and press the submit button. The next is the help file. It gives us some simple instructions as to how to operate the simulator. Next is the feedback tab. This this tab enables the user to share his or her experience both good and bad with the developer. All the user all the user has to do is to answer all the questions and then press the submit button at the end of the page. Next comes the video tab. 
which consists of both the real world and the virtual world experimental videos. This videos will further give the user an idea as to how the real world experiment looks and how the virtual world experiment looks. The user has to move backward to the simulator, click the link for the exe file, download the exe file and run it to view the virtual experiment. Prior to virtual experiment, the user has to look into the real world experiment. So here comes the real world experiment. Virtual experiment. 